Thanks, Dick, for those kind words. Uh, I remember playing against Dick at uh, Orange in New Jersey in 57. I was playing very, very well at that time, and uh, I got, I think I had to play Dick in the quarterfinals there, and I thought, you know, I got a good chance. I thought I played a great match, uh, but I came off second best, 6 4, 6 3. And uh, I thought, gee, what have I got to do, you know, to win? And uh, here's a guy who really had sort of passed his peak, and, uh, you know, and that didn't help either. But uh, then I, uh, getting through, uh, I had to have to draw him in the uh, round of 16s in the US Championships in 57. And I thought, oh gosh, <laughs> not him again. But fortunately, Dick decided the modern game was to serve and volley between Orange and the uh, US Open. And uh, it probably wasn't your best uh, style of play, Dick serving and volleying. So he was, took it easy on me. But today, uh, you know, is a day which I will never, ever forget. It's the, the honor that's been stowed on myself uh, is just something which is hard to explain. I always thought, and when I read about the people being inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame, that it would be lovely to be there and not dreaming that my name would come forward through the people would vote. And uh, it's, it's just a great thrill to be standing here and also with all these other inductees uh, of the Hall of Fame. And possibly a person to help me over the years was my wife, Daff. Uh, you know, you always got to have a good backstayer, and she allowed me the opportunities of playing this wonderful game of tennis, as uh, Judge Kelleher said. You know, I uh, first travelled overseas in '55, and uh, my last uh, playing trip was in '90. So it's a sport where you can play indefinitely, and uh, of course, uh, it's uh, a game where it's a great family game. It brings everyone together. And you've got to learn to ha handle the highs and the lows. And uh, we were very fortunate in the 50s. We uh, used to travel with a chap called Harry Hopman, uh, the late Harry Hopman. He used to be the captain of the Australian Davis Cup team. And we'd be uh, touring uh, the world as a Australian touring team. And of course, most of the top players in the 50s and the 60s were the Aussies. And Hop always said, uh, if you go on the court, I want you to be enemies, but once you walk outside the, the fence, uh, you've got to be mates. And if you carry it on too far, he said, I've got your ticket, you can go home. And he meant that too. And uh, I think it really taught you to appreciate your fellow uh, competitors. And even now, I know that uh, each year I go over to uh, John Newcomb's ranch uh, in New Bromfels near San Antonio, I go there because we get a chance to get together about 10 or 12 of us of the old Aussies. And that's the way we were sort of brought up and I think Harry Hopman uh, really in drilled that into us. Uh, you know, I, I've had a lot of thrills here uh, in, in, in the game of tennis and I think my greatest moment, uh, if I don't bore you, is probably winning the US, being the first player to do so. And I've had a lot of sad moments, and I could speak a lot more of the disappointments than the, the highs, whereas Martina's probably going to be the opposite. Uh, but uh, there's a couple of young chaps over there. <clears throat> I classify them as my part of my family. Uh, they live uh, about a mile from where we do in uh, Brisbane, and uh, uh, Mark and Scott Draper. Uh, unfortunately, Scott... I think a year from next week, lost his wife, Kelly, a beautiful lady. And uh, it's great to see you, Scott, uh, back on the tour. And, uh, you know, we wish you all the best and uh, hope you can get back to where you were. Thank you, Stan, Scott. Thank you. And his elder brother, Mark, uh, he's a better tennis player, except he doesn't believe in himself. He's a great tennis player, and uh, Mark has sacrificed uh, staying home, traveling with Scott, and trying to get him up, and uh, I, I think uh, that's very nice of you, Mark. <laughs> to everyone that's involved in the International Tennis Hall of Fame, 
President, Chairmen, committees, uh, Daff and I would like to thank you very, very much. The way you, your hospitality has been unbelievable. We've just enjoyed ourselves so much. And of course, on this great occasion, who would not enjoy themselves? But uh, we just want to thank you very, very much for everything. And uh, to you people coming along here and uh, making it a, a special occasion uh, for us three. Thank you.